Now you see it, now you don't. At Tolo TV in Kabul, picture editors blur bared flesh and cover up Hindu religious symbols. Tolo broadcasts several hours of Indian soap operas each day, but adapts them for Afghan sensitivities. The programs are hugely popular. Between 6 and 10, wherever there's a television set, people gather to watch. I'd like to have serials made in our country. But if Afghan programs aren't available, then I like to watch the Indian ones. Every evening, thousands of Afghans are glued to their television sets, watching the latest twists and turns in the Indian serials. The clerics, though, say the programs are un-Islamic. The government has ordered television stations to stop broadcasting them. For the broadcasters, though, this isn't so much about culture as part of a wider argument about freedom of expression. Not true, says the culture minister. Parents worry that their children waste time watching the serials. And he says the order to stop broadcasting applies only to five soaps because they harm Afghan culture. The serials show one woman having four husbands at a time. They show women having children out of wedlock. This is what our people oppose. At Kaga Lake near Kabul, pleasure boats skim across the water. Even here, there's unease about the Indian soaps. We don't like these Indian cereals because our cultures are different. We're Muslim and they're not. At least in Kabul, there's a measure of peace and prosperity, but that brings problems of its own. Freedom of expression is on a collision course with culture and politics.